when you do these really slow with this very relaxed arm, you're not uh, you're touching the guitar up here in the forearm area, yeah. right? But you're not uh, touching it down here. But uh, yeah, when you get faster, so lightly and yeah, I want to play faster, it changes. Yeah, there's this thing that kind of happens, right? This part of my hand. Yep. The bottom of your thumb, or whatever you would call that, right, right there, rests. Okay. Kind of on the bridge pins. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got it. And so you're not, it's not a hard anchor there. It's, no, you don't want tension anywhere. But you can feel them though, they're grazing. Well, yeah. I'm, Got it. I have a feeling there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you don't Dave, want. To, tell me what it feels like, Dave. You don't want to push hard because, and you don't want to squeeze the pick because feel your arm. Mm -hmm. When you squeeze, what happens? Well, yep. those muscles are yep. tense. Can I ask you, um, uh, and I don't want to put you out at all, but. Um, uh, if can you can you do that exactly what you just did with the the bridge pin style, but with the sleeve uh, rolled up a little bit, so if we can see what the forearm is doing when you do that. It's no, just that's sitting there. A little bit. Uh, well, I guess my question is, I'm wondering if if there's this turning going on that helps you get around, or if it's if it's more just the wrist is kind of my my nerd question about that. My answer would be, it don't matter. Yeah. Whichever way works best for you would be the way to do it. Fantastic.